What's that? What am I drinking? Oh, this? It's a... Uh, it's a salad in a, in a jug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm sober. October is here and um, there's been so many adverts on about going sober for October and giving up smoking. I don't smoke. But I do drink and I love drinking and um, I kind of thought, actually, hold on, let's think this through a little bit. The last time I was sober for over a month was 11 years ago and that's quite a long time. So I kind of thought, actually, I could jump on this whole sober October, sober, sotober, stober. I could jump on this whole bandwagon and I, yeah, I kind of thought, right, it, it can't be that difficult. Um, and it's not, it's not, it's not difficult. You don't have to drink. And if you're out, you can just drink sparkling water or alcohol free beer. It's alright, it, it tastes okay. October is a horrible time to actually do this. Um, this, tomorrow, 2nd of October, um, I'm going out for uh, one of my friend's birthdays. Then, then I'm going up to the Isle of Arran on Tuesday. I'm going up to like, to a whiskey distillery. A, a whiskey distillery. You don't get alcohol-free whiskey. So, I kind of, I've thought this through. When I get back after Scotland, I, um, I've got an event uh, that I'm going to with my sister and the, uh, like, the organisation she's part of um, have huge wine cellars and every annual kind of dinner always has like delicious vintage Chateau Neuf de Path and uh, all my favourite kind of wines and they're beautifully sourced and you have like, like every course is accompanied with uh, wines and alcohol. So I kind of thought if I can get through Scotland, if I can do like one week, I should be able to get through a lovely dinner with um, accompanying wines. So then it's kind of a quiet two weeks and then at the end of October for Halloween we've got um, like our friend's big annual Halloween party. So for that I'm kind of thinking I might break the seal then but for now I'm just going to see how long I can go. Um, at the same time as doing the whole Sobertober, Sober at the same time as doing this in October, um, I kind of thought I need a juice cleanse. Like I need to, I need to get back on it. I need to get my strength up. Everybody around me is getting so sick with colds and flus and all those nasty things. So I don't want to be part of that. And I can't really get sick because I can't have any time off work because I work for me and if I do then I will end up on the street. So <laughs> being a homeless person not a prostitute. Uh, well it's a, the finances would have to be weighed up in the event of that um, situation. Um, jokes! But um, basically uh, as well as this I thought actually I need a juice cleanse. So what a great way to kick off October um, then with Lots of vegetables in mason jars with pretty straws. So yesterday I cleared out the fridge and uh, freezer. What we'd done with like loads of berries that we'd been picking, I'd been freezing them. So I put everything into either juices or smoothies. <laughs> There's the whole juice smoothie um, kind of conversation. But I love avocados, like I love avocados and there was this time in northern Ethiopia um, when we were living there and we were driving somewhere and had a tyre blowout uh, in the 4x4 and we lost four tyres 
um, which was pretty shit because we were only carrying three. So we had one tire on the top of the car, one on the like door at the back, and then one on the chassis under underneath it. And so we had to uh, organise for a tyre to come to us in this little village and it was quite an aggressive truck stop kind of town and we had myself and my little sister travelling with us at the same time and we got out of the car and neither of us are particularly um, good at being appropriate for situations. Um, and so I was in like, like cut off denim hot pants and a vest and I just... It wasn't a situation that we really wanted to uh, explore. And so we stayed, like somebody kind of called us off the street, spoke to the driver and said, um, you can stay at my hotel, uh, we don't have any like bars or anything like that, there's no alcohol, um, but you guys don't really want to be on the road now as it's getting dark. And so we went in there and as you went in, there was this beautiful, beautiful patisserie. The girls there were making beautiful, beautiful um, cakes and treats out of limited resources and they looked absolutely fantastic. Um, we got upstairs and we were kind of like, oh, there's no beer. But they did say they can make us some smoothies and some juices. I thought, actually, I could do with uh, replenishing my energy. So I had a I just said to them, just bring out your juice with everything in. And they said, oh, we'll bring you my special juice. I was like, yeah, I bet. Um, but they brought me this layered juice with avocado, mango, pineapple, and there was something else in it. And it was absolutely to die for. And that was the first time I've really drunk avocado. Since then, any opportunity, or whenever we've got a load of avocados um, that need to be used, I just blend it in the kind of Breville hand blender into a lovely smooth paste, and I love mixing it with pineapple, that's my favourite, um, and then a bit of berries as well. So, for me, that's a really long-winded way of saying I didn't want to not have smoothies, because you can't juice avocados. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of smoothies and a little bit of juice. This morning I started with a uh, avocado, avocado, pineapple and uh, blackberry um, juice that I had prepared and frozen yesterday. So I've got seven days worth of those smoothies and I've got um, four days of green juices and four days of like cabbage and, <laughs> sounds great, cabbage celery and some berries, so like red juices, um, that are super high in antioxidants. So at the moment I'm enjoying my green juice, which um, like I froze it and then kind of defrosted it and it's kind of separated, um, that's why I'm kind of like drinking it with the straw and um, doing everything like that. So this whole juice cleanse is going to be a little bit of a, not a headache, but it's going to need quite a bit of planning because we drive, we start driving northwards next week um, and then I think if we can't find, like there's this one place we really want to stay in on the Isle of Arran but if we can't find it or if it's, if it's not dog friendly because we're taking Apollo um, we will just camp so we'll take all the um, tent and sleeping bags and things like that so I don't, I haven't quite thought through how I'm going to manage with those juices um, during those few days. So I might just end up going to the store and buying some like bottles of cold, like pre-made cold pressed um, juices instead. So right now I can't kind of say how good I'm feeling with the cleanse, but I will do obviously as, um, as I progress through this process. Cheers! Um, it's, it's really nice and I love vegetables and I love fruit and I just love drinking and it doesn't have to be alcohol. Like I love, I, I've got through two smoothies today, two mason jars of mint infused water and a pint of water because it was a little bit hungry this morning. We, uh, we thought we'd celebrate the end of September with a beautiful bottle of Bordeaux last night. So this morning I woke up with a little bit of a headache. Well that's how I am. Andrew's doing 5-2, um, 
So today's his fast day. Um, we both fasted on Tuesday. So um, I think we just want to get really kind of strong before we get sick. Like well, this is our way of preparing for winter and I know last year we also had this kind of push on the run up to on the run up to kind of autumn and winter and things. So um, for me that's kind of it's a good way of preempting uh, anything negative. So um, that's really where that is. Also, another thing that I should have highlighted at the beginning before telling you stories about tires is um, I did it last year and I'm going to do it again this year and I'm going to record and publish a video each day through the month of October. What the hell? I'm sober, I'm publishing videos and I'm freaking drinking juice. I don't know if this is going to work out but um, basically last year I did it and we, um, we travelled to Ethiopia for a few weeks and then towards the end of the month I had my hand operated on so I had um, carpal tunnel release done on my hand and I was completely out of action so after my surgery I tried, I tried like I tried videoing like on the way down to the operating theatre um, and the, the nurse was like you are going to be in an absolute state <laughs> let's see, like, you are not going to be able to hold the camera let alone kind of talk straight after you're done with your painkillers so um, it kind of stopped then and also I had to be a little bit sensitive because I was working full time at the time and I I couldn't really do anything for me to operate my laptop and edit it I, I wouldn't have been able to I'd have been able to sit and talk in front of a video but I'd have had to get Andrew to like edit everything each night or hire somebody um, and like send the raw videos to and get them to do it for me and um, I just wasn't that organised so it kind of uh, finished then but it was great because that really gave me a platform for kind of video content creation and um, before that I'd only done like lots of little bits of segments and things and I wasn't particularly um, good I want to say at editing um, but kind of mid-October I um, decided to start using Adobe Premiere Pro for editing and I've really enjoyed it. So let's see what happens at the end of October. At the end of October I'm going to be so sober, I'm going to be so, my colon is going to be super super shiny and you are going to be so bored of listening to my voice. So I apologise in advance, but at the same time I can't wait to have you part of this journey. So um, that's it. Also, hold on, rewind, here's something. I don't know how, if we're camping next week, I haven't quite thought through Wi-Fi. So next week's videos might initially be very short, almost kind of iPhone um, uploaded, but we will see what happens. We will, we will cross that bridge when we come to it, or we will get a boat, or swim, we'll find some way. This is actually really nice, and cheers to October guys, and if any of you are doing a kind of sober October, or a sober month, or if you have any awesome juice recipes that I need to know, please let me know because I'm going to be drinking like three or four of these a day and I don't quite know how to um, keep my attention span going. <laughs>